Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error code that is 0xc000007b or Visual C++ Runtime or VC Runtime 140.dll or MSVCP 140.dll error. So if you are receiving one of these error message with Rainbow Six or Rainbow Six Siege game on your Windows computer, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here, you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19, and 22. Now scroll down, click on x86 file. So download x86 and then download x64. So you have to download both x86 and x64 file, and then you have to run both the exe file. So run this exe file. Now, if you see the repair option, click on repair. You might see the install option. So if you see the install option, click on install. If you see the repair option, click on repair. Click on yes to allow. Now run the second file as well. Now again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. In my case, this is already installed. So it's telling me to restart my computer. Make sure both the files are installed. Now once both are installed, click on restart. In my case, this is already installed in my case. So that's why I received this error. Just ignore this error. So restart, make sure that you restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can try to launch the game and you should not receive the error message. So even if you have the game on Xbox Game Pass or Ubisoft Connect, or if you have the game on Steam, just follow the same step. Now, the next step is to, now after restart, after installing, um, Visual plus C++ file, you, the issue should be resolved. But still you're facing the problem. In that case, you can uninstall and reinstall the game. So you can simply uninstall and reinstall the game. First of all, uninstall, delete the game installation folder. After you uninstall the game, restart your computer and then reinstall the game. So that should help you to fix the error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.